Yo, Chelo here. Today I'm going to talk about the quarantine process in Taiwan for high risk countries, especially Brazil. So basically, um, high risk countries in Taiwan have a specific place to stay. That means you need to stay in the design quarantines by the government. So you cannot choose where you're going. You simply go there. Let's go into the details. As soon as you arrive into the airport, they're going to ask you which country are you from? And then from that information, you will be directed as the government quarantine, if you're from a risk country or the other quarantine, that is the private one. In my case, the risk country, Brazil, uh, I went with the government quarantine. And then from the airport, they create a group. So you align with a lot of people and then you are directed to a corner of the airport that is a special, special place for that. And in there, they give you items like, uh, I don't know, is a kind of rapid test? Yeah, it's a rapid test kit. I didn't know that thing existed, but it does exist. And they gave you, they gave me a small kit. I just used it two days ago. Well, back to the point. They will give you that and they will inform you, where are you going? So up until the moment that I was into the airport, I didn't know where I was going. So you will only realize the place you will stay after arriving in the airport. And you, you, do, you cannot choose. They will just inform you it's there and you say, okay. And you go there. After arriving here, they will check your, your passport, they will check your documents, your flight ticket, and they will say, all right, you're the person that will be there in that moment because, um, well, before going there, you need to just fill out the form. There's an internet form that you need to fill out. I'll put the link in the description. But the thing is, after filling up the form, um, you will need to wait for an SMS. So the SMS must be to a Taiwan number. If you don't have a Taiwan number, then you need to make the, to fill the form with whatever number you want. And after you arrive in Taiwan, you fill the form again, but with the new number that you, you will get in the airport. And it's like, you must get, you, you cannot choose. It's just, you will arrive in the airport and there will be a banner of Zhonghua Dianxin, which is Zhonghua Telecom. And that brand is like selling the, I think it's prepaid cards. And I don't know because I didn't buy that, but they sell there so you can buy it. And after you bought, you bought it, you can receive the SMS and using the code in the SMS, you will fill the form that they will give you when you arrive there. So there's another form, one before you arrive in Taiwan, another tell, other to tell you the place you're going. So that's how it works. After you fill that, you will go out of the airport with a bunch of people and then you enter the bus. Once we arrived here, we just put our luggage inside of our place and they shut the door. So like, once they shut the door over, you cannot go anywhere anymore. The quarantine has started after that moment. Right after you arrived here in the, well, quarantine hotel, um, you will do a PCR test. It's that thing that they put in your nose like really deep and it's like really annoying. And well, they will do this stuff. And well, there are two PCRs that it will do during your stay in here. One is in your first day of quarantine and you have also on your, uh, in your 14th day. All right, so more about the, um, the form that we need to fill before going to Taiwan. It looks like this. Can you see it there? I wonder. Yes. Anyway, I'll put the link on the description. Just pay attention to one thing. Like if you go further here, you will see there is like um, an item that is like government quarantine self paid right in over here, right? And I almost press on that one um, and don't do that because that's the wrong one. I almost did that and pressing that would mean that you need to pay 28,000 NT dollars, which you don't need. You only need to click on next and that's all. 
like it's red and shy boo, and you, you just press that and after you press that you will go to a page and then you'll be able to fill the form like just put your information of your flight st status and just put everything over there my advice is do it twice like the official thing say you need to do it once you have like at least at most 48 hours to your arrival but from brazil i have more than 48 hours so that means like i did it before 48 hours and i did it again when i was transferring in dubai so you can do it twice Just don't worry about that the thing is the first time you do it you do about the first flight until the mid place it can be like whatever dubai friends whatever place and the second time you do the you fill the form fill the form with the ticket of the second flight the flight that arrives in, arrives in taiwan right so you need to fill this and well there's that's pretty much all of it you need to fill the form and after you arrive in taiwan you receive the sms actually really enough the sms that i received was of my first time filling the form and not from the second time which is kind of weird but well understandable because you know it was filled earlier so maybe they processed the information earlier so that's why i say fill it earlier it's better in summary you get a free quarantine i mean it's not the most enjoyable thing but you would need to do a quarantine though either way going to taiwan and since you are from a high risk country at least you don't need to pay so it's a good thing right now about recommendations for bringing things here the first thing that i really recommend is like bringing this you know like for doing push-ups or some kind of sport because you know it's 14 days here and you only have like this room i mean it's not that small but you cannot run here you know you cannot do many sports here that's what i mean so bring some kind of sport stuff that would help a lot the one thing that i i kind of regret not bringing is the yoga mat one thing i recommend is bringing those i mean like sweet stuff like pasoka it's like super good and i'm not talking especially that like every risk country needs to bring this peanut candy what i'm saying is like bring something from your country that is kind of nice and sweet so like you can just eat it and the last thing i recommend is look at this this is the towel that you get for taking a shower it's clearly not that good for that because it's too small see like you can survive with that but i recommend having your own towel like it's better for getting your hair dry now about like tips for quarantine I would say that I recommend you bring in your computer, your tablet or whatever and organizing your files. Like there are so many files that we have and like once you have this time that you must be here, you must not go out, you just need to find something to do. And why not organizing your files? Like organizing maybe your pictures, organizing maybe your documents. I was organizing university stuff. I've been using the... It's the... I did this training, just super cool. Like you said, your goals, what kind of muscles you want to train, what is your profile of sport, and they do it. And it's free. Like, I mean, they have a premium version, but I don't even know why it's actually there is a premium version. Thing is, although, like I say, it's for you to bring something like the peanut candy, you will be pretty much full. I give you food three times per day. And then you have like a huge meal and a fruit there's always a fruit and it's like you cannot finish everything like sometimes you eat the, no the noodles or the, the the rice the base is always noodles or rice and then um you cannot eat the fruit right so sometimes they keep stacking fruits and you need to find it some time to eat it um and that's really cool because you are not eating like junk food you're actually eating fruits so it's a really nice dessert it's a good really good pause oh Look at that. This is actually... Wait, wait, wait for it. There it is. My dinner is right here. Let's take it. Take a look. Here it is. We have an apple. So there's always a fruit here. Okay, about the apples here. Usually when they have some kind of stamp or seal over it, it's more tasty for some reason. The others without like the seals are... The, the seal here are not as tasty as this kind. 
and we got some noodles look at that it's pork i guess and some veggies and well carrots i think that's all time to eat